Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell. I give the movie a C minus. This film is the latest in the Tremors movie franchise. Once again, Michael Gross returns as Burt Gummer, a series mainstay ever since the first film. He's been in all the movies. He's been in the television show. Brow boys have been discovered in the Canadian Arctic, and Burt Gummer is recruited to go deal with the problem. He's joined with his long-lost son that was introduced in the previous film, and he also has to deal with apparent illness that he contracted way back in the third movie, in which he literally had escaped the belly of the beast. What I liked most about this movie was Michael Gross's performance uh Burt Gummer. I love that character. It's one of the main reasons why I keep watching these uh, movies, despite how ridiculous they've always been. Uh, I do think he's overacting just a slightly bit more than usual, but then again, that could just be me. Back when I watched the other films, I was just watching them for enjoyment. Now I'm actually uh, paying attention more and criticizing more and noticing things more, so maybe it's more of me than him. But still, overall, I enjoyed his performance as Burt Gummer. What I disliked about this movie could pretty much be summed up in a specific attack. In the movie, there is a water attack. Uh, a researcher is in a, a pool of water, and from out of nowhere, uh, there is an underwater graboid attack. And the problem is, this scene is there just to be there. Even if you listen to the DVD commentary, you can pretty much tell they thought, hey, what's something we've never done before? How about a water attack? Uh, now, this leads to two problems. First of all, the Grab Boys are uh, desert creatures, even though it's this place in the Canadian Arctic. A desert is defined by uh, rainfall, not temperature. So it can be plausible that these Grab Boys are in the deserts of the Canadian wilderness, the Arctic. But this is the first time there have ever been any. Uh, significant body of water, so this movie suggests that uh, the Graboids might actually be amphibious, you know, which makes no sense. Like, when would they be around water enough to develop uh, survival in water? Another problem is this particular Graboid, they're, they're supposed to be pre pre cambrian like they were the Graboids before uh, modern Graboids, uh, and this creature, he always, well, they always, there's three of them, they always attack coming out of the ground, whereas Graboids used to stay underneath ground, use their tentacles to pull the tray in. These Graboids always come out of the ground. In fact, sometimes they'll come out and leap uh, onto their prey as if they're doing some type of terrible free willy impersonation. So in the water attack, uh, the creature never comes out of the ground. You can see the water and play and there's blood run. Uh, so that just not only uh, ignores the science of these creatures, but it just breaks the uh, consistency of the movie itself. It's just there to be there, something they think will be cool for the sake of being coolness, ignoring what's coming forward, which is important because, as I said, Burt Gummer is sick from something that happened way back in the third film, and there's another character earlier in the movie that gives a gigantic uh, exposition dump about uh, standard uh, qualities of Graboids, so it's like, okay, you're either taking this material seriously or you're not. I mean, the series isn't quite the level of a Sharknado where it's just ridiculous for the sake of ridiculous and just get more and more ridiculous. There seems to be some type of level of consistency. So it's just frustrating that so much of this movie is just, hey, wouldn't this be cool? Wouldn't this be cool? Wouldn't this be cool? Uh, maybe this is starting to run out of ideas, but still that uh, scene sums up my frustration. Like, you know, either... You know, it's still silliness, but still either, you know, take it seriously and be consistent or just go full silliness. Don't try to do this uh, weird balancing act. So, as I said, I've been watching this series from the beginning. So, if they make another one, I'll probably still watch that as well. Uh, hopefully, Michael Gross still has a few more years left in the tank to keep playing his character because I'm pretty much watching the movie more for his character than the uh, monster attacks. Uh, but still, I don't want it to go in the Sharknado route. I do like that it is silliness, but still 
contains a level of seriousness. So I hope with the next film, if they do make a next film, uh, they'll uh, respect their mythology a little bit better. So that's why I'm giving this movie a C minus. Not terrible, but still left me a bit disappointed. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. I welcome all feedback, good and bad. Thanks once again for watching. I'm High Heel Knight. Remember, find inspiration everywhere.